hello, this is my submission of uh, my analysis of our project, um, of our poster, which you are able to see at the start of this video, um, and which I will also attach to the bottom of this video for you to see again, so you can reference um, what I'm going to say here. So, we produced a study of the relationship between climate change and food security and our aim was to shed light upon the literature in this matter. Um, so we conducted a bibliometric analysis with a global sample for all articles published in the web of science. Um, core collection related to this topic defined the current trends and gaps in this literature. So we started uh, searching for articles using the following uh, iteration words food security, climate change and Asia and in this search we did exclude certain web of science departments um, which you can see in the poster and in total we in analysed uh, 450 um, articles that we included um, as a base of our data. <coughs> um, after this, we decided to narrow it down to 193 articles out of the 450. And this was because we wanted to focus on articles that actually relate directly to <coughs> food security and that also tied in climate change. Uh, we found that most articles were published in the Western world. Europe and North America were by far the biggest publishers, with the UK, the Netherlands, Germany and USA being the main countries, countries uh, that published articles on this related to this topic, um, with, while Asia themselves only published about one-ninth, um, with Asia as their subject, and India published about one-quarter of the Asian articles. Next to that, uh, the research surrounding uh, this topic started relatively recently with less than 25 years of published articles that speak about food security and climate change. Um, until 2010, only a handful of articles were published every year. After this, uh, the number has increased steadily. Another one of our main gaps was found in the number of publications um, that talked about mal malnutrition. Between all the articles that speak about food security and climate change in Asia, our area of study, um, a total of 590, we selected the ones that also talked about malnutrition. Um, and in order to identify the publications that talked about this topic within the total, our methodology was to identify in each abstract the following terms. Uh, we identified the the terms of malnutrition, hunger, nutrition, nutritional security and undernourishment. We finally identified 17 articles that talk about the topic of malnutrition and to expand our studies we related the number of publications to each of the continents, finding that most of the articles about malnutrition were published in Europe. However, one seventh um, of these articles were in Asia, one fifteenth in Europe, one ninth in North America and a quarter in Oceania that relate food security and climate change and talk about nutrition and malnutrition. Still we observed that the most used term was malnutrition and that Europe as the dominant uh, Europe was the dominant region um, of publications using this term the most. After all the research we've conducted and we have conduct we have uh, come to the following conclusions. Most of the research was published by Western publishers, as we could see in the graphs, especially in the first two graphs. There's a lack of representation of Asian, of Asian institutes within the literature. <clears throat> we found 11,000 articles worldwide that talked about food security and climate change, but only 590 were about Asia. Many of the articles do not talk about malnutrition, um, as we could see in the third graph, only of those 590 articles written about Asia, uh, 17 were about malnutrition. With all that said, we think experts should investigate uh, more and do further research in this topic. 
specifically on the number of publications. We think that this should be balanced between the re regions, reducing the dominance of the West and uh, increasing publications in continents such as Asia, <coughs> which we thought were underrepresented. Um, there should be more investigations about malnutrition as the topic uh, related to f food security also. Um, we thought that it was important to reduce the dominance of Europe and North America because by having the research dominated by Western publishers, you often get a Western coloured result. Um, next to that, the chance that Western researchers and publishers miss cultural nuances that a researcher or publisher from an Asian country uh, won't miss is greater, which may lead to a less reliable research, especially when using um, interviews or questionnaires. Um, also, when asking ourselves, why should experts care so much about climate change and food security? We agreed that, well, because as, as climate change gets worse, that will affect um, a country's crops, a resource in which many states are highly dependent. <clears throat> so it'd be, it would be important to study the relation between climate change and food security in order, to, in order for us to be able to mitigate the effects of climate change in relation um, again to climate change and food security. Um, and also when analysing why we consider malnutrition to be that important if we take it back to the beginning and why we decided on this subject matter um, it's because we always refer to abundance but not scarcity and food insecurity is a major cause of malnutrition in low income econ uh, economies um, major deterrence, determinants of food security include income and, or, and purchasing the power or the financial means to purchase food items. Households of low uh, socioeconomic status uh, often depend on nutritionally in insuffic insufficient staple foods such as rice or wheat for the majority of their diet as it is cheaper and more accessible than nutrient rich fruits, vegetables and animal products. This is the case for the majority of the Asian countries who are highly dependent on rice crops. For example, in ba Bangladesh, uh, rice provides rural households with over 70% of their total energy intake, while accounting for about half of their food budget. Um, in addition to this, because having food security does not equal uh, not being malnutritioned, and thus a uh, decrease in food security does not necessarily mean that there is an increase in malnutrition. <clears throat> we picked Asia um, because, as we mentioned in the conclusions that you can see in the graph, we find it very interesting that our that out of the 11,000 articles about the topic, only 590 were about Asia. This is interesting when you look at how reliant a uh, Asia is on domestic food production, which can be heavily influenced by climate change. It's also interesting um, how much the population in Asia um, is increasing at the same time that crops get weaker and weaker due to negative effects of uh, climate change. <clears throat>